a convergence with concerns over COVID-19. These few sit in observance of the guidelines. They are advocates 60 and above, speaking with one voice, saying a recalibration of a system to cater for the old must begin in the face of the pandemic. We plan to advocate as a matter of urgency for a department for our elders in the federal, states and local government. This will bring help nearer to them. Just like we have one after the other, they bear their minds on what the government can do to better their lot. Failure of which they say presents a green future. Just like we have um, ministry for women, we have ministry for youths, we want ministry for seniors. The meeting does not last long. Stepping outside, Mrs. Awoshika, all grey at 72, laments. For her, a plan must be in place now that they are old, feeble and dependent. A, lot of have been happening. a picture of a man, frail and old, exemplifies what many fear. He walks down the streets, slowly, with no guide. The dangers ahead, daunting. I think the Lagos state have been trying, but they have to try more to really locate the elderly that, are, that they need food. But can a truly effective system that caters for the elderly take root in the country? In those days, if you go to loot, there was a heart, a heart and foundation built by late Mko Abiola. These are the things people that have money are supposed to do for the masses. The population of the elderly is diverse, making up 30% with physical and medical needs as seen in war veterans from the East. Back in Lagos, however, the big question is, will their cry meet listening ears? While the hustle and bustle in Lagos continues in the midst of a gradual easing of a lockdown, the hope for the elderly is that reprieve will come their way and quickly. Jimba Umar, Channel Television News.